start again. This starts when Beku is five. Yeah, he's quirkless, but has superhuman strength, superhuman speed, poison, invulnerability, advanced intelligence, and has multi and has multiple martial arts imprinted into his mind. He was a prodigy, but he didn't show any of his skills except from intelligence. So his parents abused him constantly, and he's bullied at school, and was murdered by a classmate. He died from a classmate. He couldn't see his face. His parents buried him, but didn't even care. No one, no one seemed to care. No one cared or seemed to care. At least Bakugo, realizing his mistakes, vowed to become the number one hero of Midoriya and atone for his sins. When he is murdered, they are eight. Two year time skip. Deku would re emerge from his grave about one month after his death, and, as and an assassin trains him for one year and eleven months. After this, he is gifted his signature red hood mask and takes up the assassins basically like Taliogu, takes the name Red Hood. He is an anti hero. He became quite famous worldwide. He has a large bounty on his head from drug lords and lead villains like Overhaul and Orphan. But Red Hood is more of an anti hero. He gets into the drug. Yeah, he's an anti hero. I said that, but uh, you see what? He gets into the drug trade, takes 40% of all of Japan's sales, and he made a rule where if you give drugs to children, he will kill you. And those who break this rule will never be heard of from again. People have tried to poison Deku so much, but it just makes him stronger by an inch. His weapon of choice, so daily weapon carry is an M1911 pistol, two M1911 pistols, a combat knife, Pocket explosive, grappling hook, smoke grenades, shurikens, a taser, and his red hood cow. He also uses a revolver, a sniper rifle, a semi automatic rifle, and two. Oh, wait, two semi automatic rifles and an automatic rifle. I didn't put the semi automatic rifle. After crime fighting and building his funds, he's he thinks of starting a group, and has, and the best place to find people is UA. He yeah, I said UA because they are powerful. Like it's simple. Spoiler: He doesn't if you only join him. Oh, I should have said the Archangel one today, shouldn't I? That's not what I'm at. I was planning the series. I should have done a Naruto series, bro. Oh shit. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 50. He will wait until he's 15 for people. His research is all based on killing one student he found out who. He, he found out who it was, but also found out. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah. It's the eyeball kid. Plot twist. He can't just stretch his eyeballs, he can stretch his limbs. That's why Deku couldn't see him. Deku was stabbed by him, so it was like a stretch fist. Once Deku figured this out, he was angry. Five year time skip. He has trained all of, all of this time to build an invulnerability. Oh yeah, when he was younger, he was about... When he was born, he was about 10% of all my power. Then 20, 30, 40, 50. He stopped at 50 and died. No, he stopped at 40% and died. And he was training, but then he got killed. And then the but, but he, he's always oh, like, well, how did I? Just wrong with the plot, because I need him to die and then get resurrected by Jason Todd. This is my story. My what if? Oh my god, it's only four minutes. This will probably take ten minutes or less, actually. I've spent all of these years to build an invulnerability to pain. He can't feel pain. He can't feel fear. He finds someone who reminded him of himself. He was quirkless when he was when he was bullied. All right. Yeah. So he reminds him of his quirkless self when he was bullied. Oh, that's in the. This is before the five year time skip. By the way, just saying. All right. Getting. Being pushed into the darkness, not wanting him to become a villain, Deku took him in and gave him the and gave him his name. It, it took him in. 
His name was James Crowler. He gave him the code name Light. All right, so he calls him Light. His name's Light now, but they call him Arkham. They call him Arkham throughout the story. Where's Arkham Knight's costume? Not the Batman Arkham Knight thing. Like that guy Batman fought in it. <clears throat> becomes Ducky's sidekick well not really he just becomes partner in mm, fighting i guess nice all right he has guns a lot of guns swords weapons he carries like two glocks instead of m1911s and carries an ar instead of a sniper rifle Ducky's not really gonna need that sniper rifle for a lot like the snipers really arkham but Ducky just gives him the sniper simple and let's see Arkham uses the sniper instead. Heroes act like that. Oh. It comes to the point where heroes see them as villains, but citizens think of them as heroes. Like heroes should be more like them, killing the evil that kills. Heroes act like they're all high and mighty, but Red and Arkham just do it for no money or favors or taxes in return they even take in sick and elderly and abandoned children helping them get a home if they if it's abusive they come and kill the parent and try again so people know not to be an abusive parent haha in japan at least as he helped that none of thanks Thanks to them, Red and Arkham, murder has dropped and most crime is at, at a low. All for one thinks, what quirk do these guys have to make them so powerful and have so much influence? Because people, like, all for one, like the survivors, right? Let's say one person survived, he told all for one what happened. Like how Red was gunslinging, he sliced metal and I'm um, thinking the guy hid behind it. Luckily, Kurigiri was there. He used the portal to take him back to Awful One. So, like, yeah, yeah. Return, they even take in sick and under. <laughs> Bakugo has been training non-stop, he met Red Hood, he felt nostalgia, taking, talking to him for some reason. He thought once he gets in to UA, his goals would be achieved and he could start to atone for his sins. Bakugo is more respect, respectful but still a bitch in this, like, and I may kill him off. Because I hate the nigga. I hate the nigga. Waku gets fourth place in the written exam. He gets fourth place in the free exam with a robot exam. Seeing Deku, he started to cry. Oh, no, I really don't give a shit. And sort of PTSD of seeing Deku murdered. Because he thinks Deku's going to be killed again. He thinks Deku's weak. He doesn't know he's murdered yet. Yet, he's gonna figure that shit out. Like how Tim Drake figured out Batman was Bruce Wayne and and Dick Grayson was White Wing. Like simple, he's gonna figure it out like that. Yes, <laughs> Decker responds with, "Well, I'm I'm not dead, am I? So, so did you see who did it that killed me?" Because I died. Because I died. I was just resurrected. Don't ask how. And don't tell anyone this. Bakugo was shocked. Don't tell anyone. And then your mother, father, and little brother died. And gave him a brother for Deku to kill him if he snitches. Like if you guys want him to snitch. Or I can just remove his brother. Simple. Nah. Oh, yeah, sure, why? I'll keep him in. Deku comes in with his guns and swords. People see him. People see the walking armory. And then they say 
You aren't allowed weapons. Deku said, I'm quirkless, so why should you care? It says, if you're quirkless, leave. This is not a home. Bakugo knowing it's red hood, yeah, you figured that shit out. It's, it's fucking chances of survival. Like, he fucked his chances of survival, simple. Yes, he takes his pocket knife out and starts using judo, taekwondo, and a bit of karate. Or as they say, Mbaki Karate. I find that's plasticated. Ida puts the knife in to his neck. Oh, yeah, I got a drink. Ah. Oh, Deku drops Ida and puts the knife to his neck. I haven't ate all day. Oh my god, I'm gonna need something to eat, guys. Well, I'm just finished this part. Everyone's impressed by his speed. All Might comes to stop Deku. And Deku uppercuts All Might, sending him flying. Okay, that's part one. Goodbye.